Um, the last part is to analyze your, your information. So this is how it goes. So you need to talk to me about the finger number, the fret number, and the string number. All right. Uh, just a little back, a bit of background information here. These vertical lines represent your six strings. So this is string one, two, three, four, five, and six. So those are your strings. Um, the rows here, so all of this, this whole quartered in the second column, the second row. So those are your frets. So anything here is fret one, this is fret two, and this is fret three. And then your circles with the numbers in it represent your finger numbers. So this is finger one, finger two, finger three. All right? So how to do your analysis. You have to take the lowest number, and the number that's in the circle is the finger. So you write down finger one is on string number one, two, three, four. String number four. And it's in the second fret. So then you take the, the next number up, so it's finger two. String number, one, two, three. And it's in the second fret. I know my writing was messy, but I want you guys to really take your time with this. Finger number three is on string two in fret number one, two. And you just continue that process for every chord, okay? So step one is to fill in your grid, step two is to copy the chord from the book, and step three is then to complete your an analysis. And if you get lost, look at the example that I have for you on your paper. Good luck, uh, please work in a focused and quiet manner, and please hang on to your work as we'll take it up next time. Bye guys.